Yesterday I made a backup of my main scrap mechanic survival world for the first time. I did so because I had heard that many players were losing their worlds after the file became corrupted or for various other reasons. This proved to be a smart and lucky decision. I made the backup in the early afternoon. I played for a few hours farming a lot of wood, then took a break. Later I played for more than 4 hours on stream. During the stream I finished building the frame of our base. We then cleared an entire ember forest. Afterwards we went to the water treatment plant and abandoned city and cleared both for the first time. On the way back the game started lagging pretty bad and I should have stopped and restarted. Unfortunately I didn't. I was about to end the stream but decided to show my boat to some viewers that had not seen it. I had never had any trouble with the boat before and have an after. However the game crashed while I was in it. I reloaded and the boat drove off. I couldn't catch it and every time I tried to swim back to the base the game crashed. At that point I had a friend load in to see if he could stop the boat and the game crashed again. Finally I decided to rewrite the backup save file and everything worked fine. I tested the boat and had no issues. I think playing for more than 4 hours and traveling far away then using the boat afterwards combined to create the problem. As you can see the world has more than 150 hours and had over 160 before the crash. We lost around 10 hours of progress but that's better than losing more than 150 hours. Two things I recommend are restarting the game every few hours or when performance starts to suffer and also making backups of the save file frequently. To make a backup you need to do the following. We're going to exit out of the game. So basically every time you end, every time you exit out of the game it makes a, it saves the game. So we're going to exit to our desktop. What you're going to do is you're going to find where your game is saved. In this case it's saved on my C drive. We're going to double click on the C drive and we're going to look for users. So we're going to double click on users and we're going to double click on our profile. In this case mine says media for Mediocre Milton. When you get to this screen, you're going to look for app data. If app data doesn't show because you can see it's transparent, it's actually a hidden folder. You're going to click on view, click hidden items, and it's going to show up. So we're going to double click on app data. Then we're going to double click on roaming. We're going to look for Axelot Games. That's the developer of Scrap Mechanic. Double click on that file. We're going to double click on Scrap Mechanic. We're going to double click on user. You're going to see a folder here that says user underscore and a bunch of numbers. You're going to double click on your folder. There may be more than one depending on how many people are using Steam on your computer. So we're going to double click on that folder, then we're going to double click on save, then we're going to double click on survival, then we're, here's the list of all of our worlds. These are all of the save files for Scrap Mechanics, so as you can see there's three here, there were three listed on my screen earlier, and the world in question here is Bot World. So the, to make a backup, all you have to do is hit Control C, or you can right click and hit copy. Make sure you do not cut, you just want to copy it. And then you're going to have a separate folder set up. So in this case, I have shortcuts set up. So this, this shortcut takes me to this folder. And this shortcut takes me to my backups. So I go into World Backups. And I have a date on here. And the way I'm going to start doing it is I'm going to do probably three to five backups. Just so I have multiple, just in case there's any issues in any of them. You're going to go into the appropriate folder. You're going to right click, hit paste, or hit Control V. And you're going to hit yes, replace the file destination. And your backup's complete. So if you do that a couple times a day when you're playing, or basically I would do it every time you exit the game. It only takes a second, and you can also write scripts if you're savvy enough to do that. But if not, the easiest thing to do is set up a shortcut that takes you to the save folder, shortcut that takes you to the backups, just make sure you remember which one is which. And you're going to copy it over and move it into the backup folder. And if you ever have any issues and you need to revert to the backup, go to the backup folder, copy it, move it back to this folder and replace it, and you're good to go, and that's all you need to do. So yeah, hopefully you found this video helpful. Make sure you're doing backups because you don't want to lose hundreds of hours of progress. If you have any friends that are playing Scrap Mechanic, and they're probably not doing this either, make sure you share this video with them or tell them how to do it just so they know how to do it too so they don't lose their progress. And make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below so more people can see it on YouTube. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.